Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Elder Worlds. Last we left off, we were knocking a bunch of quests out pretty quick. Um, we also learned that Ash abandoned his friends and just wanted the payment for the job. Um, so that wasn't too great, but we're on our way to f repair the printer. As well as getting uh, his team out of there. Zyra. Z Zyra? I'll have to double check. Let's see. Double check. Zora. Close. Close. Fire! Fire! Up top? Yep. We also hit level 20. Think they left anything good behind? I wonder who used to live here. Is it going anywhere else? Critical. Critical him. He did no chance. No chance in hell. Wow, even this does good damage. Against these guys. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just cowering in fear while I'm reloading. I'm swapping weapons over. Alright. Next. Get them, ladies. Show no mercy. Yeah, that does weak damage. Double flamethrowers. The, uh... The extra 100 pounds is really working for me. I like it. It was worth the, uh, perk. Here. Taste my little fire. Take that. Alright. Oh, there they are. August and May. Hope you're Hello. here to help. We only got so many bullets left, and I ain't keen on using one on you. Graham didn't send me. Zora sent me to look for you guys. Once I get yet safe, I'll see about that press. Thank the Eternal. We could use a hand. But, we can't leave without patching these guys up. Acker here is bleeding out and Jensen can't see straight. I'm a medic. Medic has got our trauma kit, but we got separated. We ain't seen him in a couple of hours. My professional medical advice is to get out of here as soon as possible. Bleeding might kill him, but rats definitely will. How many years of medical school went into that word of wisdom? <laughs> sorry, sorry. We appreciate the assist. We just need to find our medic so we can do exactly as you say. Get the hell out. I'll go... I'll go see. Any idea where? Yeah, on account of giving him the order. He's searching the old settlement to the north of the press. North of the press. Let's see if I can find him. Up. 
Get him, boys. Reload. Take him out. We're almost 21 again. <laughs> again, we're almost 21. Colossus. Ooh. Damn, you guys are tanky. Hot damn. Gee whiz. Good fight. I can say, guys. Ratophobia. Repeated encounters with Raptodons has lessened your effectiveness when they're attacking you or your companions. Phobic. Minus one dexterity, minus one t perception, minus one temperature. No. I don't want any of that down. Temper I'm not quite sure what the uh, uh, temperament. Effective skills, lie, sneak, medical, the change in, no, I definitely would have not liked that. I mean, it's just a quick kill, but I still don't want that. It's not worth it right now. Not quite worth it for me. Oh, my little Colossus. Ooh, good ammo back. Oh, oh wow, we're starting to lose ammo here, guys. <clears throat> I'm down. Alright, uh, let's use my heavy for a bit. Ooh. Medic's dead. Ooh, what is this? Euthanasia kit. What is that? Is that a shotgun? Long gun. Oh, and it's a light. Nice. I think it's a shotgun. Yeah, it is. Whatever. What? Whatever. Whatever. I will use it. Your medic didn't make it, fellas. Yep, yep, yep. Any luck out? Found your trauma kit. Your medic is dead. Oh, fuck. Well, that's better than nothing. Thanks. We'll head out as soon as we're patched up. Alright. I wonder if I could have. Oh no, I couldn't help them. Alright, prepare. See how well this shotgun... I mean, it's not going to be good because I don't have it leveled up at all. Like my guns but I mean it should still do okay right got to a draft of different safety announcements from when the conveyor don't be a fool around the spools oh this is kind of what we needed actually All right, break down. Oh, 
I just broke down that thing because it glitched on me. That sucks, Nick. That's a real kick in the dick. Alright, flamethrower. Oof. I'm out of money. I shouldn't have done it that much. Oh god, it does nothing. Does absolute squat. Those guys got it. They're doing fine. They're not losing help at all. Nice work. Oh, Ellie's down. Oh, shit. lot of them. Cleaver Ultra. I just start looting again. Alright, what do you got? Promoted! Chance to cower resets after 10 seconds. Engineering. Breakdown weapons. 10% chance to extract a rare mod. Damage versus auto mechanicals. Inserting a new mod has 100% chance. Further reduced tinkering cost. And this is the one I wanted to get. Son of a bitch. Damn it. I picked the wrong one to get up. Damn, that sucks. That's a kick in the dick. Oh, oh god damn, that's a long one. Alright. To whom it may concern, I, Caden Shuster, do hereby declare my official resignation. Delivery services to the Terra One printing facility shall cease forthwith. During my tenure of service, I have made numerous complaints regarding the hazards of working on this lost forsaken rock, including, but not limited to, the infestation of unknown insects in my sinus cavities, resulting in weeks of unpaid leave. Two, the as yet unembarrassed loss of several articles of clothing due to the acidic properties of the local atmosphere. Three, the constant unrelenting aggression for local wildlife. Four, persistent itching and coughing malady in my lungs. Likely due to breathing in traces amounts of sulfur. 5. Equally persistent indigestion, a symptom of an overall nutritional problem, stemming from the fact that I am in fact allergic to fish, which is the main diet provided to service workers based in Souther Bay. I have received the following responses to these complaints, all of which I deem unacceptable. 1. At factory, olfactory senses, I was deemed, quote, lucky to no longer suffer the stench of fish and sulfur. Two, my wardrobe was replaced with uniforms out of Stellar Bay, which suffered the exact same degradation, and I was thus no better off. Three, at my insistence, I was awarded the services of a local hunter, one N. Rumnaren Wentworth. Wentworth? That's... That last one sounds familiar. Who spent the entire service called inebriated and offending my sensibilities with off-colored language. 4. After thorough medical examination, I was found to be in working health, which was deemed more fortunate than many. 
five. At my insistence that additional dietary needs to be offered, I was instead awarded extra supplies of toilet paper. After this latest response, I hereby tell whoever is reading this to go hang themselves, and that your replacement rollers, inks, carts, belting, binding, keys, stamps, lubricants, and whatever else in these infernal boxes can all be found rotting in the wilderness. Good day to you. Is this a loot room? Ho ho ho. What, a hack? Yeah, it's pretty useful in this. Let's see. My force security masks are not meant for use are meant for use in crowd dispersal scenarios. They are not appropriate for a workplace environment. To whom it make it certain I was talking to one of our guards he isn't having trouble breathing at all. In fact, none of the guards have had an asthma attack made here. We believe it is because of their gas attached a purchase request for safety equipment for the rest of us. Focus testing indicates that the air quality on Terra One does not warrant the use of olfactory filters or any other scent blocking equipment. Your purchase request to deal with the sulfur is denied. To whom the boss is using filters to ward off the stench of sulfur from this lost forsaken planet, I have attached a purchase request for a number of filters so that the rest of us don't have to suffer. Placement rollers. According to the manufacturer, your current rollers are capable of retaining efficiency in all environments. We have no to support your claim rollers are degrading because of this shitty ass air. I'm not sure what this could be. Yeah, I'll say shitty ass air, but they are sold for parts before the ones we've got. It's indicate that your facility is Purchase order for new ones. Wow, this place is not getting any anything for management. Makes me sick. Let's see, what do we got in here? Bathroom. Terry's birthday. No, we are not celebrating Terry's birthday. Terry's dance, folks. I know he meant a lot to everyone here, myself included, but his untimely demise be a lesson about safety in the workplace. Don't pet the candidates. We're leaving. To all employees of public of Tier 1 publication. Yes, the rumors are true. We're leaving. The board has decided to cut the losses and operate on Tier 2 instead. In accordance with the evacuation orders, we await a shuttle out of Cascadia. When we get word that a ride is on the way, we'll shutter this facility, pack everything up, and lock the door on the way out. Until then, however, we are expected to continue working. I'm sure reassignments are forthcoming, but that's not an excuse to slow down. We still have magazines to, pub to publish, people. Our customers are eager to find out what happens in Dissident Hunter Nimba. This notice issued on January 12, 2343, damn, serves as the public denouncement of Terra One as a feasible workplace environment. Due to the hostile and aggressive nature of the wildlife, as well as the unsustainability of its natural flora for use in human consumption, Halcyon Holdings Corporate Board has officially enacted a hazard clause covering the entirety of Terra One. After an evacuation period of no more than six months, Terra One will be officially considered a legal territory. As this is a unanimous decision, any corporation caught operating on Terra 1 after the evacuation period will face fines and possible disbarment. As defined in the Halcyon Code 22.1. Alright. Okay. Let's lay out. All the gear weapons I can to sell. Install the rollers. Yeah. Whoops. He seems like. Yay! 
Yeah, but I got I mean sure, he's a bit I don't know what happened. I'm sure he could hit stuff for us just fine. Yep. Ah. Uh, uh. All right, so that's another one down. Another one down. Come on now. All right, let's go tell them that the people are back, as well as I fixed the printer. Looks like they looks like he's talking, but nothing, nothing coming out of his mouth. If you'll just listen. No, no more listening. No more preaching. We are losing people left and right. We need to act. What are you Enough, acting on? Zora, I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. What news do you bring? The gunships, they sure didn't stop me from landing here. What are you arguing We're about? out of time. We need food and ammunition. We need to hit Stellar Bay while we still have the manpower to do it. You plan on attacking? You want to attack the yes, city? I know it's drastic, but it's clear that Sanjar will never cooperate. And if it's him or us, I choose us. Damn. Are they really doing better than Doubtful. here? But we don't need much, and Sanjar isn't going to share. That seems desperate. It is. We are desperate. We're starving. My people are dying left and right. Dang. Excellent. Did you find the Van Oys? Yep. Yeah, the luck I got their time or else they have become rapid on Lucky indeed. Thank you. We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in Halcyon. This plan's brilliance is in its subtlety. For the time being, let us cease our activities on the tower, lest we bring premature attention upon us. I have much to do. Articles to write, sermons to ponder. We live in such an exciting time. Let's talk later. Hey, I need to see to the wounded, but drop by the clinic when you can. I want a word. Okay. Ah, they're revering me. I love it. Alright, so, they're going to be attacking the city, huh? Let's take some... we got to go hit these other things first, before we talk to her. Like, enter that lab. Free Radio Monarch. Space-Time Continuum. Which one's that? That's the one I need to do. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is the landing zone. Dead. Get him, boys. <laughs> Give me experience. Oh, that's a special one. It's got a special name to it. Damn. Oh, so does that one. Aye! Aye! Got 
God damn, that was close. Yes, lockers. Good loot. Always check lockers. It's the hoogie boogie band. A report written by a Rizzo Wildlife Specialist regarding Project Tiro. It lists concerns that the higher than average volume of terrorist corpses may have been maybe attracting local wildlife. Combined with the alluring purple berry aroma coming from the Cascadia bottling plant, the engineer worries that rapidons may be encroaching even ever closer to the walls. Though the walls are theoretically sound, the engineer warns that they're relatively shallow and that particularly clever raptorons could possibly dig beneath them or find their way into the chemical waste pipes. Still good for uh, inventory weight yet. Just dug straight through. Oh, Lord. It's about to go down. Dude, right in the nuts. Get him. Ouch. What hit me? Get him. Get him, boys. He's the Oogie Boogie Man. Whoa. Whoa. Mm hmm. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Something stinks about these evac prep procedures. I know the tarot's were expensive, but shipping them out of here isn't going to be easy. Even the hunters are recommending we let them loose outside the gates. I don't know. I don't get why we're taking them with us anyway. Someone at the chain must really believe in the project. I'm copying my meeting notes for the post. Still can't shake this feeling that they're hiding something. Sumner, call the meeting to discuss preparations. Pauline, platitudes, assurance that nobody's being fired. Explains that jobs await us on Terra 2. More platitudes, top management is very pleased with Project Terra and wants to assure its assets are preserved. So the project isn't being scuttled. No, just moved off Terra 1. But how will we transport the Terra's? Hunters will assist us in safely moving them onto the shuttle. It was hard enough getting them into cages in the first place. What about the Raptodons? We've seen more and more around town. Assurances that the Raptodons are not interested in the Taros, but the Hunters are saying, no more about the Taros. Floor is now open to general questions. How many shuttles are incoming? We don't know, at least one. One isn't enough for all of us, plus the damn Taros. Let's worry about that when the evac arrives. Looks like we're out of time. Thanks for coming, everyone, and keep up the great work. We're fucked. Shuttle landed on the pad. We started moving Tarot cages. Some of them broke. Birds everywhere, talons everywhere, even the clip ones. Turns out they can run. Who knew? Then the raps got in. I don't know how. Must be a hole in the wall somewhere. Maybe they can dig. Fuck, they were all over the tarot at first, then us. 
Sumner and the other upper management were already on the shuttle. Raps got near the pad, someone panicked, they left us. Void take their black hearts, they left us. Got a few homes stabilized, but isn't gonna last. Raps everywhere. They got scent of what's in the bottling plant, and now they're nesting. We need to move. Going to have to book it south across the bridge. Cordon holds Cordon offs half the town. I've been trying to hail corporate, but none of my messages are getting through. I don't think help's coming. Cecil and says corporate wouldn't have us, but I saw that shuttle. There wasn't enough room for us and the birds. Someone up there made a decision, and it wasn't for our well-being. Rotten bastards. I make it out of the mess. I'm coming for him. I'm coming for you. I guess this is what Edgewater's gonna look like in a couple of years. You take us to the nicest places, Captain. Well, uh, hey, you know, I like do what I do, you know, you know. You know. Makes everyone happy, you know what I mean? Oh, that. Let's head. So does that mean I can't get out the goddamn outside? Let's see. There's got to be a hole somewhere. Somewhere. How the hell did they get in? Hmm. I wonder if I can get up and jump over. Nope. Can't do that. Hi. <laughs> Go around. Manta Queens. Okay. This is it, boys. Two Manta Queens. You sure we ought to... Yeah, no. So it's good to take it out swarms, but not good for anything else. Flame door. There we go. That's the Yugi Boogie Man. get there either. Huh. Well then how the hell am I supposed to get over the gear? I can't fast travel? Why? Oh, it's me jump. Alright, so we're taking a long way it looks like guys. We're taking the long oh my lord, even another queen? It's packed full of them anyways, like, come on. Pavardi. 
Right in the face. Alright, well. Is there a different mission? No. Oops, wrong button. See you, Pete Boar's factory discovered. Alright, I mean, I've already been in there, but. Alright. Alright, what do you. Whatever I do, we won't. Whatever. Oh, take a little huff of paint. Looks like we got a bu bunch more company. They won't try that again. No, they won't. Just keep lighting them up. Alright, go on the rampage, ladies. Mess him up. Beat him up, beat him up. Break his neck, break his neck. Can you guys take out that thing? I took everyone else out. I don't think they can. I think they're losing, guys. They're losing hard. Smashed him. I wonder if there's like any perks for killing shit. Like I know there's flaws. Maybe after you kill like a thousand or something like that, or a couple hundred, that you can do bonus damage. Or you like maybe lose a perk. That would be pretty cool too. Oh shit. Really? I better be able to get in here. I went all that way. There we go. Back here. Damn marauder. Alright, I think they need help again. Bavardi! Get up! Got that. Most of them are in here, I think. Oh, sh 
Hello? Housekeeping? Housekeeping? You want extra pillow? You want extra pillow? I come in? Housekeeping? I come in anyway. So got a good chunk of stuff. These ones are just quickly pause here. Oh wait, hang on a sec. Did that let just say Zora Violets, please, we are all begging you for the love of all that is good and just please let Cecil so sell soap to Simon again. He's got some kind of condition, I don't know what it is. Zora. Really? There's a lot of people here. I wonder if anyone's on the roof. They really don't let you jump that well. <gasps> really? It's a goddamn freaking force field there. damage Take his kneecaps out. Try that again. I'm the Yugi Boogie Man. Blackwood Zora. Zora is a top-notch sawbones with a good head for working under pressure. She knows how to assimilate large amounts of detailed information to make dis quick decisions. Her competence and decis decisiveness has allowed her to restore more than a few limbs and digits lost to carelessness around the machinery. Recommend for Employee of the Month. Cecil. Cecil's enthusiasm for Rizzo's project products is unmatched and he displays an impressive knowledge of company products. He is exactly the kind of worker we need to keep at our storefronts. Do not promote beyond store manager. Really? He's doing too good of a job there. Printing, please remove your data pad. Alright. Okay. 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 
You should, you know, drugs are bad. You shouldn't do drugs. You drugs are bad. I've already been in here. Says, but I haven't. But they think I have. Watch your goddamn language now. <laughs> Getting close to level 22. Alrighty. Oh, actually, we were right here, anyways. Supervisor, enter password, anti deluvian. Begin transaction. We've got hot candy, can I sweeten your day? Sure, why not? Try saying thirsty friend, nothing beats a zesty slap. Begin. No. Yes. No. Yes, yes. Exit. Secret laboratory. I'm kidding. Laboratory. Alright, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, but we will catch you in the next one. See ya!